Now on news for Jackson 11, vote 2023, the runoff race for Jacksonville's next mayor is heating up as campaign ads fill the airwaves in the race between Democrat Donna Deegan and Republican Daniel Davis. Donna Deegan's campaign began airing her ad called Unity the day after the election. While an ad paid for by Republican Party of Duval County on behalf of Daniel Davis started airing recently. News for Jacks reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live after speaking with a political analyst about these ads and what they say about each campaign, Khalil. And that political analyst says these ads are strategic and reflect both campaigns and what we should expect to see. I love this city with all my heart. This is the latest ad campaign from Democratic mayoral candidate Donna Deegan. It describes how she's familiar with the city, what she'll do for it, and how she plans to get things done. For Donna Deegan, her ad went up first. Rick Mullaney, a News for Jack's political analyst, says the ad Deegan did for herself is in sharp contrast to an ad paid for by the Republican Party on behalf of the Republican candidate, Daniel Davis. I went to every one of those Black Lives Matter protests. This reflects two different strategic approaches as we approach the runoff. On the Deegan side, remaining positive and trying to define herself. On the Davis campaign, instead of defining himself, trying to define Donna Deegan on an important issue, public safety. Mulaney says the ad for Davis defining his opponent first is one that's worked for him and is favorable to his campaign. Mulaney says he did it for Leanna Cumber and Al Ferraro. The political analyst says with there being weeks left before the runoff, it's not certain if future ads that come out will be more contentious. But he says when it comes down to the last week, expect something more favorable for each. Ideally, you like to finish positively going into election day. But that may be affected by what the internal polling shows at that time. Uh, if you see a lot of negative ads the week before from one side or the other, uh, you can generally, that can be an indicator that someone is trailing. And News for Jax did reach out to the Deegan campaign for comment, but at this time, we haven't heard anything back yet. Once we do, we will bring you that statement. But last month, News for Jax did hold a debate in partnership with JU Public Policy. During that debate, Donna Deegan did say that she was all for adding additional officers and that she understood what the city needs. Now, we also reached out to the Davis campaign. Aaron Isaac with that campaign, she replied with a comment saying, Donna Deegan stands with defund the police radicals and thinks our police are the problem. She wants to hold police accountable. Daniel Davis wants to hold criminals accountable. Reporting live, Clay Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.